we are getting right back. We're, we're getting right back to work. So first and foremost, we're we're, we're in the bonsai mobile. These are one of the mechanisms that uh, arrived. One of the cool little gadgets for the car. I needed one of this so I don't crash the new automobile. So let's stick it in right there. Okay. Oh wait, I think it's upside down. Wait, I can probably rotate this. There we go. Perfect. So game plan for these this Sunday morning and we only had like five hours of sleep Lindsay's working at the house I have to uh, drop off some packages on the way back from picking up this beautiful bald cypress I'm very excited about I will show it to you guys obviously once it's picked up we have to drive probably 40 minutes north to go pick that up and then on the way back we're hopefully gonna drop off by UBS I got to return some of the things that I bought because they were incorrect so that is uh, the mission for this morning and by the way the garden i checked it out this morning beautiful let's go hey, ladies and gentlemen look 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 at that whoa you see that back there it doesn't even fit in the van <laughs> all right let me get this baby home and i will show you guys what beautiful bald cypress was just picked up. Right, Kivanchi? Oh, she's, she's already slumped. Go, there we go. Voila! Lindsay, come look! Oh! Come look! Oh! Would you look at that? Holy, you know what? I, I can't even say because this is a friendly family show. But look at this. Look at this. Look at this tree. Look how amazing this is. It is amazing. Ginormous. Amazing. Look at this. Oh my god. I'm, I'm going to cut this bucket. It's going to be harder to obviously carry, but it's going to be better because we need to see this, these roots. It's going to take time observing it in the garden to figure out what the design is going to be for it. But let me get a knife. Let me cut this so you guys can really see and enjoy what I just got. It's beautiful. If you take a nice closer look, you have the outer trunks, outer root system, outer nabari, whichever you want to call it. And inside you have a center structure, which is the main trunk, I guess. So I don't know how this developed over this over time, but take a look. You can get in through here, you can get in through there and there. Oh, look at the size of my head. <laughs> wow. But imagine this well-developed branch structures, nice canopy full, or even not full when it when the ball cypress sets its um its foliage in a nice lovely sir uh, cir um circular uh glaze pot. Oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be a lovely project. I'm I'm so so happy. First day back, and we're already hitting the garden. We're hitting the ground running. That's what we're doing here. And look, you got some nice, thick, decent uh, branches here on the bottom that we can create some uh, some canopies down here, and then focus on the top. And it could uh, could work out pretty well. They're actually pretty pretty sizable that we won't have to trim them off. Uh, and I think it can work out. So. I think we 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 will have sorry a uh, pretty neat branch structure that we can develop from this point here on, and obviously we need to get it out of this pot as soon as possible. So luckily we're almost in spring, and bigger pot, nice fresh soil. We're gonna fertilize it heavily, and yeah, we're gonna develop it over the next year, two years, and it's gonna be a wonderful piece of the garden. Not selling this probably. This is my baby now, <laughs> but no. Let me show you guys the changes that have gone around the garden. Uh, first and foremost, before I show you what arrived, look at how beautiful the bongavillea, bongavillea here, looks. 
it completely blossomed. Look at this. Look at these beautiful flowers. Amazing. And the other Bonga Villa, which is, doesn't have as much flowers as that one over there, but look at the dead features after putting the lime sulfur on it. Look how nice bright white it is. It took forever for me to get the, the lime sulfur here, but we did it and I applied it before I left to Tennessee and they came out quite wonderful. But now let me go get the products that arrived that I ordered while I was away and they're a little goodies. Okay, first and foremost, we have the ginormous uh, blue pot that was uh, missing from the initial delivery of uh, new pots that arrived. This one most likely is gonna be for that Brazilian rain tree over there like I mentioned. Nice shallow, this is probably inch and a half, uh, maybe two inches, but I think it's an inch and a half. It's a 12 inch pot, we got some wires, we got some nice meshes to cover the drain hole loads. So that is one piece that we needed that was missing. And then we have a very important piece all the way from Japan, which is the branch benders, the, the structure. So this clamps on the branch, this you tighten it, helps you bend it. So this is actually, I ordered this specifically for the ficus that I'm gonna be working on this upcoming week to give some more movement into the, the branch on the left. So very key piece. This is gonna probably help be very useful down the line. And I probably eventually I'm probably gonna need a couple more, but we only need one for this time. And look at that, all the way from Japan. So we're supporting the Japanese yeah, economy. So then we have a brand new watering canister right here. Look at this can. This was actually screwed on. It's metal. I didn't want any plastic. I wish it was the the authentic one, the long one with the big nose. Uh, very beautiful ones, but those. Uh, the copper ones can be like $500, $400. They're beautiful, but you can't afford that right now. Unless you guys subscribe and like and share. I need, I need to monetize the account, guys. Anyways, this is mainly for when I have to water that end of the garden because sometimes the hose doesn't really reach and the hose I have over there is for more expensive water. It's like city water versus sewage water, something like that, I don't know what it is. And then we have a bag. What's in the bag? Well, more packs. Oh, don't wanna, I don't want the bag just to come out. I wanna keep them in the bag. So let's take them out. So behold, I have a bunch of brand new stainless steel um, tools. I have one, two, three, four, five, six new pieces of tools. These are going to be replacing the other tools that I've had since 2015, since I was 15 years old. They have treated me well. I did not really treat them as well, but you know, they've been breaking down since the beginning of the year. And now I have the ability to upgrade to better quality, stronger and beautiful um, tools that I'm gonna be obviously using a lot. I, I need to get like one of those leather bags to keep it enclosed and protected. But again, investing as we go, it's, it's a project, it's a process. You don't, you know, I'm, I'm, can't keep spending all this money, especially with that bald cypress I just bought. That one was a, I've been negotiating with a guy who owned it for a month. Uh, so luckily finally came to an agreement and I had to get it. So, so that was that, but whew, I'm excited to be back. I'm excited to work. There's been progress in the garden that I will show you as the week goes on. There's been progress since I've been gone because I got all these tools and we were able to pick up this lovely bald cypress. So I will catch you guys uh, tomorrow and Throughout this whole week, we're gonna be doing stuff. Uh, the rest of the day, I'm gonna keep planning and uh, breaking down the ideas that I mentioned from yesterday's video. So, back in Miami, good to be back, and let's get to work.